Yeah. It's been a while. Oh, Oscar's braver than I am in the door slam. Oh. Shot, but the wall bag in response. Oh. <laughs> that is great. Oscar. <laughs> We've got the 1x bet onto the top of your screen favoring OG here. I think they've been listening to Yanko's analysis, and it makes sense. As we go for a bit of a ramp, rush, flames tested. Yeah, he's immediately ducked out of trouble, so... Living on for now. B-Stick lurking doors for descending that ramp, and he can maybe arrive on fence a little later. Flames, a lot to do. Valde has got a powerful position which will be smoked off. And that's the end of Flames looking promising here. They've got a lot of map control, and they've even nearly taken down Valder as well. B-Stick arrives in the feed from his late Lurk, and, well, call this one a done. Not much for Alexi to say or do about this. Yeah, it looks like they're backpedaling for the save here early, and we're just going to see more and more of this. He's broken them. Sinner's gap is closing. Oh, Quick. nice. And nice frag has closed oh. the gap. He's opened up the side with just the two. What is that? What? what? I know tapping's long range, but that's absurd. The Rack 9 in play here. Neofrag rips him apart. What can you do, Nico? Oh my god, they have to convert this one. Surely he did so much for them. Where are you off to, fellas? Oh, what a shot out of Oscar. Oh, dear. <laughs> Close it down. Shot down. Oh, gee, sent packing. In fact, Oscar packed the suitcase for him, threw it down. Oh, he's ready for Valda. Call this one done. OG. Thrust flames into a 1v5, but Sinners, it's a lot of hard work. Double overtime required. But secure map, their map pick against OG. They are riding this success all the way to the bank. 1-0, locked in. And now we set sights on potentially taking the scout that is OG. To do damage, flash is available. It's not a flash, excuse me. That's Alexi's HE. No Soften them up. No flash is prepared just yet. Well, they love a half wall flash here at Sinners. So let's see. When that comes, I assume Alexi's nade will follow. This is going to hurt, isn't it? There it is. There's the nade. Oh, Nico, nothing to say. It's Flames again with his USP. Oh, what a problem child he is. Takes a double for the trouble. And Oscar elsewhere. He's opened up the potential on A. It's all man two. Oh, and as he looks to retrieve the USP, he's caught by the re-aggress. Here we go. A chaotic pistol to start us off. I expect nothing less. Well, if they head back towards the B bomb site, B Stick still has the smoke towards CT spawn. Flames is playing passive over towards this coffin's angle, so he's going to have a choice. Does he stand? Does he fight? Does he do as much damage as he can? Or will he play retake and wait for the rest of his team? Smoke's landed. That will be communicated. Cutting noise. Not a single sound cue other than the smoke. And now a body spotted. Peppered away. B Stick down to 60, and they. Continue the jaunt slowly in behind that soon fading smoke to get yeah. that bomb down. Oof, this is going to be tough to overcome for these boys here on Sinners. They're going on the fade. Yeah, and as it fades, they're looking the wrong way. Little bit of a barrel enables B Stick. Good find. I think he caught a glimpse of another. He suspects Alexi's close. A bomb plant would go a long way. And they've managed to pull that one. Oh, just about finished my sentence as they finished the plant. Alexi gone down and now only Mantu. Spots out the emo player. There's a crossfire established here. He'd have to be very quick on the 90-degree turn, unless Beastie wants to feed it to him. Here comes the fight onto Zedko. Dancing between the two of them, and can. He can't. Zedko does deal with it. That was right down to the 1v1. No idea where it look. came from. He couldn't work it out. Shocked to come up clutch, and he knows he's on site. Good tag already from Flames, and he is a bit of a clutch master. Shot to stand up and deliver, and he just about pulls it across the line. Two 1v1s, Chad, in our first two rounds of play. Coming, Oscar's ch changed his mind. He wants to play short side, and I kind of admire that. It means he won't be as predictable should shot go down. He can play for that default plan that's now ticking away. It's not actually ideal for Oscar. They strafe in multiple targets. His head is very valuable, and Oscar does only find the first of the three. Going up. He peeks into another one-on-one. -on -one. Oscar looking very oh. good, very good out of Oscar. He snatches away the eighth for the Sinners. One versus three in quick succession for the Orpa. And this is what we've been talking about. You know, the hype around Oscar. Sinners back in here. Him being in a tier one team of mouse sports and being a quality. Zedko's already posted up short, so... There's a real opportunity here, and I think they want to seize it. There's three converging in, and they know at least where one is. Neofractor locked down that rotate through mid. Shot finds the necessary frag, and this should be a sinner's round. There should be very little for Nico and Flames to do about this, but jumping into the AWP does leave just Flames 
Yeah, three CTs up against OG. This is for Sinners just to prove that they are ready to fight. Flames, first to die. Oh, that's more from Zedko. You couldn't ask for more than two, and well, he's delivered it. It will be molotov into a less than favorable duel, but it should be on his teammates to finish the job. b Stick and Oscar, they've started to show themselves in the feed and in the server. There you go, seven. Sinners pass the test on D. And as you said, the writing was on the walls. Now it's just time to confirm. OG locked in to advance out of Group B. Top of the table, undefeated OG. That's impressive.